All right, so we have everything laid out. We have all of our pipe in. Uh, I want to show you a little trick here too. I forgot to mention earlier is let's go down. We'll just go to zone three here and then let's do active only. One of the things that's fantastic is when you have this zone and you, you have all of your heads in place, go ahead and activate just the zone and then go ahead and connect pipe accordingly. Um, it zeroes in on just that zone, just those heads, so you know you're connecting to just what you need there. Uh, it works really fast. It doesn't get cluttered up, as you can see. Otherwise, it gets a little crazy. You don't know what you're connecting to. So nice little trick. It's pretty fast to do. It works quite well, um, but it, it helps with a lot of organization, but it'll really help speed a lot of that pipe layout. So, all right, so I've gone ahead. I have placed all of my valves, my piping, my lateral runs. We're doing pretty good. We know our point of connection is over here. I've even gone ahead and ran uh, some, uh, some piping out and uh, valves for the drip pipe. And you'll also notice that as I've done that, these I've gone ahead and I've used a drip control zone, uh, which is one of the options that we have over here in the valve to use a drip control zone. I've used a hunter drip control zone. So works really well. We're starting to classify this and design as we go. So you can see it, it's very versatile and we can move along at a pretty rapid pace. Now we're gonna go ahead and place our main lines. So we've done all of our laterals. We have our valves in. Let's get our main line going in. And we're gonna start over here and we're just gonna start our main run down through. I'm gonna come at a slight angle down through here and come across. Um, I know that I'm gonna lock up to this point of connection here, so I'm gonna go ahead and end that pipe right there. And I'm gonna go ahead and run over here with a line and go ahead and connect these as I feel necessary. Now what's really interesting is you can see it jumps that over, which is fantastic. So let's go ahead, let's run this this way and we're going up and across and we're gonna head straight on up. So let's go ahead and let's find that center and lock to that. We'll double click to end that and you can see we're jumping this. And then let's come off of this main line. We've got some other valves that we're gonna need to deal with. And let's run over to these valves. I'm gonna come straight up. We're gonna go to this valve. And we're also gonna lock over to this valve. So now we've done all of this. This works fantastic. We're moving along. We've got our main line going in. We're showing that. But one of the things I want to do is I need to connect this. You notice that we're not showing anything in these. We're showing that we're zero gallons a minute. And we're all one inch pipe because right now it doesn't record the main lines as being anything. We're not connected to anything. So let's go ahead. Let's connect this to our point of point of connection. And let's go ahead and let's, we've got this one valve here. We, we're gonna have to uh, connect here also. So let's get that all ready to go. And now you can start to see how we are moving our main line and seeing what kind of volume we're moving. And just to see where we're at, let's go ahead, let's go back to our point of connection and let's turn on our pressure and our flow. And you can see it recalculates out um, let's change that text a little different here again. Graphically speaking, now we're looking pretty good. And you can see we're at 8.91 gallons a minute. I know for a fact out of this house, I have tested this house, uh, we have 20 gallons a minute uh, at 65 PSI. So we're well within the range of what we need to for this entire system. And our network is ready to go. All of our piping is in, everything is taken care of. So we're doing very well and uh, we're moving along. We're at a good rate. We don't see any major issues.
All right, we're going to go ahead here and take a look at a few other things. We're going to clean up a number of things. Uh, one of them here is this nice little piece. These pipes, as we've explained before in other videos, will jump over and show that we're jumping over a pipe. But when we did this, it's kind of large. I want them to look more like this. Graphically, I like this. It's really nice and easy. We select the pipe. We grab that and we can downsize this jump over. Now, what's really nice too is that jump over is going to be right in the middle of everything that we have there. So let's go ahead, let's jump that over on this side. And it works really well. Let's go ahead, let's click this. Let's take this down. Now you can see we've really cleaned this up. It looks much better and graphically it doesn't look like a, uh, a mess.